So this question looks like it's going to be a system of equations question. Whenever you're solving a system of equations, you, system of equations, you should think about using elimination or substitution. So this question gives us the two, two equations. So I'm going to just write those down. x equals 2y plus 5 and y equals parentheses 2x minus 3 times x plus 9. Let's just go ahead and simplify that now. So again, this first equation will not change. It's in simple simplest form. But this bottom equation, once I FOIL that, I will get y equals 2x squared plus 18x, right? So plus 18x, but minus 3x. So that's going to be plus 15x and minus 27. So the question says, how many ordered pairs x, y satisfy the system of equations shown above? Well, let's think about what that means, right? So an ordered pair, that means I'm going to do some, I'm going to solve this either through elimination or substitution. And if it's only, if there are no solutions, that means there isn't an x, y pair that makes this system work. If there's one, then there's only one x, y pair. If there's two, then there's two x, y pairs and infinitely many, really infinitely many, you will only see that answer when the two equations that you have are equal to each other, right? That means that they are the exact same line, the exact same graph, and therefore, they have infinitely many solutions along, along the graph. So we do not have that here, right? These equations, don't want to make that look like a negative sign. These equations are not the same. So infinitely many is, is definitely gone. So what do we have? We have these two equations here. I want to use elimination or substitution. So let's choose which one is best. I cannot use elimination here because... The first step of elimination is to choose a variable that you can cross out. Um, and because I have an x squared and an x here, uh, along with the x here, I don't want to use elimination because even if I crossed out the x terms, I'd still have an x squared. If I crossed out the y's, I'd have an x and an, and an x squared. And again, at the end of elimination, I want to only have one single variable. So elimination is gone for this. So I must use substitution. So I have two options for substitution. I could take the value of x, right, this 2y plus 5, and plug it into these two x terms. Or I can take the value of y, this entire 2x squared plus 15x minus 27, and plug it into the y value there. I'm going to choose to do the second one just because I don't want to have to deal with squaring Right, so again, if I plug this into the x, I'd have to square it there, and I don't want to. I don't want to have to deal with that. Um, so that's my my choice. I think that it's a wise choice. So let's see what happens when I use substitution. So I would get x equals, and then instead of two y, I replace y with two x squared plus fifteen x minus twenty seven. I have a plus five there. I can simplify this by distributing the two. So I had x equals. 4x squared plus 30x minus 54 plus 5, right? That's just distri distribution here. And then I can combine like terms, right? This negative 54 plus 5 becomes negative 49. I can subtract x from both sides, making this a 29x. And of course, I'd still have my 4x squared here, and that will be equal to 0. So I'm going to just write that over, over on this side here. So I have 4x squared plus 29x minus 49 equals 0. In order to solve this, I'd have to factor it. The best way to consider factoring this is to use the quadratic formula, which says that negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a is equal to x. So when I do that, it's a couple things. First of all, this kind of tells me that my answer already, um, and I'll explain why. So negative b, so the, the quadratic really is two separate fractions, right? Because you have the plus 
right? So negative b plus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And you have the minus, negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So keep that in mind. And because each of these represents an x value, that means when I solve, when I solve this, I'm going to get two separate x values, right? I'm going to get an x from here. Let's call it x1. I'm going to get an x from here. Let's call it x2. Now, whatever value I get for x1, I can plug in, and I'm going to get a y1. So that would be my first ordered pair solution. And whatever I get for x2, I'm going to plug it in to the, one of the equations, and I'll get a y2, or a second y value, a y value that matches with that second x value. So that would be like an x2, y2. So that means I'm going to have two solutions, which means my answer is choice C. So I stopped here because the question is not asking me for the actual solutions, which means it doesn't make sense for me to continue beyond this step and start plugging in all these large numbers and actually finding solutions. The question just asks me how many solutions I should expect, right? So I know infinitely many is gone because of what I mentioned earlier. And I also know because I'm going to use a quadratic formula and because of this plus or minus that's here, that means I'm going to get two solutions for x.